I hope he never sees the light of day again. He has uh, eight felonies, so I, you can't get more serious than that. A Butler man is in jail tonight accused of eight felony sex charges. Good evening, I'm Heather Heron. Police say 29 year old Jason Schwartz had sexual intercourse with minors. After a four month long investigation, he faces three counts of child molestation and five counts of sexual misconduct with a minor. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth has been following the case and has more. Heather, these charges involve 12 female victims, all of them between the ages of 13 and 16. Detective Adam Friedel of the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department says it's the largest investigation he's been a part of. Detective Adam Friedel learned of 29-year-old Jason Schwartz in March when he interviewed him as a witness in a separate case. I started investigating him because some of the questions that, some of the answers to his questions, or my questions were a little off. Friedel looked at the Butler man's Facebook account. Schwartz had three separate profiles and noticed something. He had uh, about 150 friends, 90% of them were teenage girls. When Schwartz was arrested back on June 13th for sexual misconduct with a minor, Friedel began an extensive investigation. He got a 2,000 page document from Facebook showing Schwartz's conversations with teenage girls. Friedel's first interview blew the case wide open. When we started interviewing girls, uh, more girls would lead to more girls. In all, close to 30 minors were interviewed, but Friedel needed help. That's when a caseworker from the Department of Child Services began helping the detective. This case wouldn't be put together without Becky. It's hard for 14, 15 year old girls to talk to a 37 year old man about these types of things. The pair worked together to file 22 charges against Schwartz the investigation has Friedel warning parents. They have a right to privacy from us, the police, but they don't have a right to privacy from their parents. It's the parents' job to monitor what your kids are doing on Facebook, what they're doing through texts. Um, you know, just be vigilant on what's going on with your kids in you know this new social media age. The 29-year-old Schwartz was in court today. Friedel told us Schwartz pleaded not guilty and remains in the DeKalb County Jail. Heather, back to you. Thank you, Randy. The death investigation.